had a chance to do something that was really important for this roster, which is to get younger and and to get different. They don't want to. Because you've... Greg, they don't want well, to. Well, that's what I'm they talking want, about. They want the Gretzky they, record. They don't, There's no rebuild here. They, yeah. So, so, again, the franchise exists right now as a vessel for Alex Ovechkin to set a record, which is fine. If that's the, 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 the thing that you want to do, that's great because... You know, he's made you a lot of money and he helped win you a Stanley Cup and, and, he, and, he, and he made this organization into a, an ATM machine or an ATM machine. I just the thing I always call out people for just an ATM machine is in the acronym. Um, so <laughs> From like the- if you wanted to go down that path, that's fine. And give him the security blanket of signing Backstrom for services rendered, certainly not for what he's going to do going forward and, and hand out those kinds of contracts. If you want to do that, that's fine. Uh, he's he's earned the right and you've earned the right to build that kind of team. But the best thing for the Capitals this season is to be absolutely terrible, is to be absolutely terrible. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe they bought everybody back because they figured this would increase the chances they could get in the lottery because they need to start figuring out what the thing after Ovechkin's going to be. And you start figuring that out by having success in the draft. And you can't do that if you're going to be this sort of like mushy mid wild card contending team that I think that they could be under different circumstances. So I applaud the Capitals in their current incarnation, which is to watch Alex Ovechkin shoot the puck every time it's on a stick in trying to catch this record while at the same time, not being a a successful team, Mm. landing one of the top three picks in the draft and starting to think about what life after Ovi is going to be like. That's the best case scenario for this team. I don't think they do that until the morning after 895. Until you that until, both. until that record is broken. You you can absolutely do both. Like that's the glory of 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 if they're not good this year. And, and I know that, you know, I talked to Ovechkin, I talked to Leonsis. I know the thought is he re-signed Washington to be on a successful team, to be on a relevant team. And and they're trying. Sure, they're trying. They're they're re-signing all the familiar faces. They're hoping to at least be a wild card contender. If you, you get in, maybe you win. But I'm telling you the best thing for this franchise going forward is to have Ovechkin keep scoring goals, keep pressuring the record, hopefully set it one day and then, you know, win the lottery this year. And then all of a sudden Macklin's on your team. I was going to say, so you're in, in, in your hockey heaven here for the Washington capitals, Alex Ovechkin scores goal number 895 assists to Macklin Celebrini. Yes. Oh my God. Can you imagine if they win the lottery this year? And one of those, you know, him or, you know, one of those top three guys, you know, whether it's him or, or Iserman or whomever. Yeah. Like they're on that team next season. And now all of a sudden you've got a little bit of direction because the problem for the capitals right now is your direction is clearly pointed in servicing Alex Ovechkin, getting this record, and then he retires or goes plays in Russia. And then you don't know what the hell you are after that. Cause you've got no, you've got nothing. You've got, mm. you're just like, if, but if you can win the lottery, you know, this season or, you know, grab one of those top picks, then, then at least now while servicing Ovechkin in this record, you can start to kind of think, all right, what's the next thing going to be for this franchise? Um, Cause right now the next thing for this franchise is Alex Ovechkin appreciation night the year after and that'll be your only sellout. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you need you need a little bit more beyond that. And and so if they're terrible and he's still scoring goals, that's the best case scenario for this team.